A pledge was made early on uh, in this uh, race uh, by all the uh, GOP candidates saying they would pledge to support whoever the nominee was. Tonight, Donald Trump said that pledge essentially is null and void. He would not uh, pledge to continue to support whoever the nominee is. He'd have to wait and see. Uh, and Ted Cruz wouldn't really answer it, but implied that a lot has changed and that now that Donald Trump has... Well, maybe I won't answer it either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, look, I mean, Anderson, here's the thing. This is what you have to weigh, and I wish everybody could get out and experience this. When you're in the arena, okay, you, you, you develop respect for people that are in the arena. And, um, but, you know, I, I've been disturbed by some of the things that I've seen, and I have to think about what my word and endorsement would mean in a you know, presidential campaign. So I want to see how this thing finishes out. And you know what? I want to tell you, I think the little engine that can keeps going. I sure hope they'll endorse me for president when I'm the nominee coming out of the convention in Cleveland. How's that? Is that a good answer? I don't know. <laughs> but look, I would be remiss not to follow up. Yeah. Essentially, you're saying it's in the balance. You're kind of waiting to see. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I would say that that would be a good way to describe it. Okay. Um, so we'll you're not see. ironclad standing by the initial pledge to support whoever the nominee is? You know, frankly, we, all of us shouldn't even have answered that question, but it was the first debate, and, you know, what the heck. Sometimes you answer questions, you ought, not, you ought to just say, I'm not answering it. And so now, uh, just to be clear... Wait, wait, I'm as clear as you're going to get out of you're me. Not <laughs> stand, you're not no, standing I, by that pledge. I don't want to be political here. I've got to see what happens. If, if the nominee is somebody that I think is really hurting the country and dividing the country... I can't stand behind them, but we have a ways to go. Let's see how this all folds out. And then so I'll far, let you is know. it fair to say that you believe Donald Trump uh, looks like he would harm the country if he was the nominee? I, that'll be up to the voters here. I'm not going to get into okay. that. That's, that's too much below the belt.